facts and hacks that you think are fake clickbait, but are actually 100% true. Watch until the end to become a Minecraft genius. Minecraft doors used to look yeah, like this. You could them by doing this. Wait, Your like door a item used to have no hole. <laughs> doors used to sound like this. Piglins can open doors. Oh, yes, Piglins can break doors. Commands can make half doors. Break? Iron doors don't change no blocks. Wait, sound. but why Some not? Door items used to look like this. Huh. Round can't break doors. Doors have hinges on both sides. Why? There are unused sounds for iron doors breaking. Doors That's are thicker in Java edition. Traders open doors in bedrock edition. Really? You can doors 16 blocks away. Wood huh. doors smelt items. Like the video. I never thought I'd say doors were interesting, but. Here we are. They also function as ladders. Guy like climbed up the ladder in the video. Right now, I, I can't seem to jump it up. He like, okay, wait. He opened the door and then he jumped and closed it at the same time. But yo, what? I'm like stuck halfway in the door. And then I can wait if I jump again. Now, the other thing that I was a bit confused is apparently you can get half doors, like just the bottom half. Now, I'm thinking if we give ourselves a debug stick, that's going to let us do it. So let's place one down, and then we're going to go ahead and crouch while holding the debug stick and click. Hey, that absolutely munted our door, but we still got the top half. So now I'm assuming they're disconnected. We can destroy the top. That did not, that, that did not work. Okay, maybe if I just click, clicking it with the debug stick. No, now they said using commands. Maybe there's a special command you can use. What if we go ahead and do set block, uh, tilde, tilde, tilde door? Okay, nope, that didn't work. What about we go oak door? Will that go? Hey, have a look at that, guys. When you try and set block a door, it just creates a half a door. And that doesn't make sense. Because look, guys, I literally wrote full oak door, but it gives me it gives me half, and it actually works. That is so, so strange. Bro, are you trying to break the bedrock of the tree? No, no, that ain't gonna work. Bedrock's unbreakable. Wait, what? Ha, huh? did that crimson tree just go straight to the bed? What? So nether trees just don't need half their trunk, apparently. First thing I noticed is they were a Minecraft bedrock edition. So you can see I've switched over to the versions on your tablets, phones, and consoles. And now we are going to give it a go. So first off, we have ourselves our oak sapling and our spruce sapling. Some classic overworld saplings. And then above you guys, we're going to place a block of bedrock. Now, all Minecraft logic says that these cannot grow through bedrock. One, because bedrock's unbreakable. And two, because a tree just can't have part of its trunk missing. You can see, look at this. I'm just spamming off bone melt, not going to happen. Let's try our spruce tree. Okay, thank goodness. There is still some logic in the world of Minecraft, guys. The game isn't totally broken. Can't get through the bedrock. And I don't believe that this crimson fungus, which is basically the equivalent of a nether tree and this warp fungus, will be able to get through the bedrock either. I just do not believe it. I, I cannot. I, I just, Please tell me this isn't real. Alright, there is our crimson fungus. Here is our warp fungus. Three, two, one, bone meal! Ha! It didn't grow! Yes, there is still hope for Minecraft logic. Alright, let's spam the bone meal. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. It's not growing. All right, let's try the warp fungus. Hey! It can't break through the bedrock. It's true. They can't do it. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized I've stuffed up. They weren't grown on grass. They were grown on their matching nylium. No, there could still be a chance that this is a real block fact. All right, so we've got our crimson and warp nylium. Let's go ahead and switch out the floor blocks here, guys. All right, we're about to find out. Mr. Chicken, look out. There could be a tree soon. And bang. No. You are kidding me. What? So it's not actually the sapling that has the superpowers, or in this case, the fungus. It's the ground? You're telling me that the superpowers are in Crimson Nylium and Warp Nylium, and that's what allows trees to go through bedrock? Okay, that is the weirdest block fact ever. It's not actually the fungus. It's the ground that it grows on. My brain is so confused. How does this work? Why does this work? Minecraft cobblestone can be obtained by breaking I stone. I mean, everyone smelting knows cobblestone that. Cobblestone makes stone and smelting stone makes uh, yes, stone. Ah, yes, my favorite made by stone. lava flowing on top of water and cobblestone Wait, is made by what? lava flowing. That's the into difference. Water. I never One knew that. An I'm trying to be like, yes. One strike has an average of yes. blocks of stone. Gas are incapable of breaking cobblestone. No. Diorite plus cobblestone crafts two you build pieces of andesite. Mossy cobblestone can be crafted in two ways ever since 1.17. I know. I've been playing Minecraft for 10 years and yes i know i'm supposed to be a minecraft pro but i can still never understand how you're supposed to make cobblestone versus you know normal stone you can see the water and lava here made cobblestone but i don't know why but this video seems to have a pretty good explanation so we're about to see whether that's actually the method of getting stone versus cobblestone so basically the first one here is to get normal stone build out a little water source here like so and the lava needs to flow on top of the water so let's see if this works all right down goes the lava look at the cat look out all right here we go moment of truth and look at that Guys, the water was turned into regular stone. And this is great if you have a silk touch pickaxe because then you don't have to bother, you know, furnacing up stuff, guys. You can make a stone generator. But then if the lava and water hit each other on the sides like this, it should produce cobblestone. 
That produced obsidian. Okay, I don't understand. I think maybe it's because it hit a source block of lava. If it hits the source, then it turns into obsidian. But if it hits the side of a non-source... Okay, so that's going to go on top. That's going to turn into stone there. Perfect. All right, and then this one here, this will also turn into stone. And that turns into cobble... I See, guys, it's confusing. It's confusing. But the lava that hits the water here should turn into cobblestone. Hey, yes! Anything that goes on top, stone. Anything that hits the side, cobblestone. Anything that hits a source, obsidian. Oh, my goodness, guys. I feel like a Minecraft pro. Finally! <laughs> Alright, and the other thing is this new crafting recipe is apparently you can craft mossy cobblestone. But look at that! Combine it with cobblestone and moss block, you get mossy cobblestone and you combine it with vines and you also get mossy cobblestone. This is great for decoration and building, guys. Alrighty, what block fact do we have up next? We got a netherite block and some TNT. Uh, is this just to show that netherite can't be blown up by TNT? Because that's just basic Minecraft knowledge. That's not really a secret Minecraft fact. I mean, everyone knows that it's as strong as obsidian. Okay, what is this contraption? Here, guys, we got a piston next to a netherite block going forward, and we got some TNT there. Wait a minute, is he gonna do what I think he's gonna do? No, he's gonna blow up the netherite block, but that's impossible! You can't blow up netherite, everyone knows that! Whoa! Huh? Then we're just gonna try it now, guys. So we had a piston going to the netherite block, and I counted it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten repeaters, and all of these were on full text. Now, I think that's just for show. I don't think it actually does anything. Now, from here, we have one block, a space, and then one, two, three. We're gonna see if this is clickbait just like so. And then we had a lever on this side here, guys, that was connected into some redstone going into those repeaters there. And then we had some redstone down here with a single repeater just about there, and then into our TNT. All right, guys, time to prove that this is fake because netherite can't be blown up. All right, here goes the repeaters, guys. Any moment now, and... What? 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 The netherite got blown up. There it is. My life is a lie. Minecraft is a lie. What? Why? How? Huh? Please tell me this isn't as stupid as the last block fact. All right, we've got padded snow, lava bucket, and a water bucket. All right, we're placing our padded snow there. We've got two chests and a path block. Okay, we've got like one pixel of padded snow there and... Wait a minute, is he freezing to death because of one pixel? No, that is impossible. The literal rest of his body is out in the open. How is his toe freezing him to death? No, okay, that can't be real. Okay, now we're placing down some lava. Okay, and the lava is coming down. And again, only one pixel can be seen there. That can't touch, that won't kill him, right? Are you kidding me? What? How? He's literally standing in this block here. There's no way one pixel of powdered snow will be able to kill him. I just don't believe it, guys. All right, we're going to place down our path block here, and then we're going to need to replace this with powdered snow. So there it is, guys. Oh, it's one block down. I don't... Have I done this wrong? Oh, wait, no, no, no. They had a hole there. Okay, so there it is. There is our one pixel of powdered snow, all right? Not going to happen. I'm in survival mode. Let's try it out. Oh, there we go. Okay, is it doing anything? You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. I'm actually freezing. I literally can't even see the padded snow touching my toes and somehow it's killing me. It's literally killing me through the chest. This padded snow is overpowered. What? Okay, so I believe it, I suppose. All right, that's true. Yes, one pixel of padded snow can apparently kill you. But surely not the lava, guys. Surely not. Okay, we're going to place down the lava. Okay, I stuffed that up. Whatever, it's still going to get here, guys. We're going to switch back into survival mode. All right, let's see. Ready? And I'm hit it. I'm protected by the chest right now. I'm not protected by the chest. I'm not protected by the chest. I'm not protected by the chest. No! How is this singular pixel doing so much damage? Replace down some water. Bang. And... Okay, now we stand here. And... Okay. This... You've got to be kidding me. I can literally swim in the water. Can I... Can I swim down? Okay, no. You can't swim down, but you can use the water to float up like that. Why? How does that work? How does this one pixel have so much power? Minecraft logic, guys. Wonder 18 is going to be the best I Minecraft agree. update the case ever. Includes update Hidden amongst the other random awesome, features guys, added into wait. the snapshot. Mojang threw in one insane feature, feature that the community has Wait, been asking guys, for for years. The text? Is that two Stacking slabs? slabs. Wait, in no. the older versions, if you tried to stack slabs, uh -huh. you'd end up with something yeah, exactly. kind of shoddy like this. Together and but no in the latest happens. versions of part two, uh -huh. you can actually stack them up what? like this. No! What? I am so hyped. I loaded up the newest 1.18 snapshot. You can see the bottom left corner there, guys. 21W40A. Let's go ahead and create a world. I've been asking for this feature for years. Like, the building possibilities, endless. I just, I am so excited, guys. This is even better than caves. Is it better than caves? I don't know. Guys, let me know in the comments down below. Is stacking slabs or caves better? I want your opinion. All right, here we go, guys. We've loaded into the world. Let's go ahead and open up our creative inventory. Grab ourselves some slab. Okay, first thing I want to see is spruce slabs and smooth stone slabs. That's what I want. Excuse me. 
They did not stack. What? Do I need to go the other way around? That's not working. It's not happening. Well, okay, we'll use the exact same slabs that they used in the video because maybe they haven't updated it for all slabs yet because they had an oak slab, just a normal one here, and then a stone slab. Okay, there we go. We got the two they used in the video. Oak slab. So it's like, I think I've been clickbait. I think I've been clickbaited, but no, that doesn't make sense. How would they actually clickbait us doing this? Because it actually looked legit and you can't do it in older versions. It has to be in one of these snapshots, right? Right, and this is how you do it. You just grab one slab, boop, and place the other slab on top. But how awesome is this? It's not cool. Why? Because they clickbaited us, and so did I, guys. I clickbaited you just to show how easy it was for them to trick us. I tried every single 1.18 snapshot. It did not work, but it worked in 1.17. You may be thinking that's an old version, Jordan. Yes, it is, but it's also a version that supports mod. That's right, guys. I went Googling, and this is a mod called the Refab Slabs mod. It isn't real. It's an awesome mod, and I'm probably going to add it to my world, but it, it ain't an actual Minecraft. They let us they let us down. I hate clickbait, guys. We need to expose clickbait, and that's what I'm doing on this channel, so make sure to subscribe for real Minecraft facts. Let's move on to one that actually works. Did you know that if you place a carpet on a piece uh -huh. of string over a pit, mobs won't walk over it? Wait, this what? This mechanic has Why a lot not? of cool uses, such huh. as making invisible doors. Yo, that's dope! All right, let's try it out, guys. So, uh, I'm gonna build myself- Okay, yes, I know, I'm building a door out of grass blocks. I would not normally do this. Here is going to be the doorway, but we're gonna leave it open. So, we're gonna place some string under there with our carpet- Oh, that is- that is not gonna work. Okay, so you gotta only build one block, then we place our string, then we place our carpet above it, that like so. All right, now let's go ahead, spawn a bunch of zombies, switch into survival mode, come get me, zombies. Yeah, okay, I really need to build wall. I really need to build walls. <laughs> okay, take two. I refashioned my dirt hut into a bigger dirt hut. Let's see if this works. Here is our zombie. Let's stand back here and come at me, zombie. Come on, you wouldn't. Hey, look at that. It actually works. So, I mean, if you want to decorate your house and have an open door, use some carpet and some string. But anyway, guys, that's actually all the time we've got for today. If you want to see more block facts, i got plenty more videos on my channel. So, I'll see you there. Until then, anyway, stream out. Bye.